Hi guys, this will be just a quick video on how you can compile the newly released Amnesia and HPL2 source code that uh, FG released uh, today, like 10 hours ago or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick little rundown. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but uh, just because uh, this was newly released, uh, I fiddle around with it to try to get it compiled on Linux. So this will be a Linux particular video on how you can compile it. It's fairly easy on Windows, so I'm just going to go into details of the Linux platform. Um, right now it's about 1 a.m. so uh, let's just get started. Uh, I'm going to go in the repository. This is linked in the description. The repository for Amnesia the Dark Descent it includes the HPL2 engine. So I'm just going to quickly copy the URL for the git repository and I'll create a new folder here called git. Uh, inside here we'll create open a terminal and I will do git clone and then the URL. Uh, we'll start downloading the entire repository. It's about like 100 and 60 something um, mebibytes, so it's, it's a decently sized one, but it won't take that long. Uh, all right, let's see. There we go. Now I'm just going to close that terminal. So here we have the entire repository as it was online. So I'll just go in here. The first thing that we need to do uh, to get going here is to go into HPL2 and there's a zip file called dependencies. These are all the external libraries and, and stuff like that that it, that it needs to be able to compile. So we'll just extract them right here. Uh, it's not, uh, doesn't take that long. And then we'll go back and we'll go into amnesia, go into source, and there will be a CMake lists file here. Now this is made using CMake and make. So uh, this is what you will need to install for your Linux system. If you don't already have it, of course. Um, I'm assuming if you're interested in compiling, you already know about CMake and Make, so uh, just uh, get those. So I'm going to open a terminal right here. If I now type CMake dot, just to try to uh, create a make file in this directory, uh, I will already get some errors. And uh, this is because I think there are some mistakes made in the repository. They may be fixed very, sh very, <laughs> very shortly. They may even be fixed tomorrow. Who knows? But uh, right now in the original uh, first version of the repository, they have not been fixed. So I'm just going to go through what you need to do to fix it yourself. So first off, we have an error here. And it says that uh, add subdirectory fails because tests does not exist. Now, this is actually a, f a fault in the uh, make file or the CMake file rather. Uh, it is not in the one that is in this directory right here. But if we go back, a uh, couple here, go back into HPL2, uh, into core. There will be a CMake list here. Now, if you open that with a text editor, uh, we will see that at the very bottom of this file, there's a line that's add subdirectory slash uh, or dot dot slash tests. Uh, this directory, if you notice, does not actually exist in the file, file structure. So uh, remove that line, uh, it will error because the folder doesn't exist. It wasn't included in the repository. Um, perhaps a mistake, but anyway, uh, just remove that and that will uh, make this uh, continue. So now if I try CMake dot again, uh, this time it gets a different error. Um, it's actually complaining about the Steam library. Now you could probably plug in the Steam library if you have it installed somewhere, if you have it located, you could link it in the target of the Steam library API or whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of the Steam library. Uh, so uh, there are a couple of references to Steam. Let's see, if we go back up to Amnesia, Source, and then Game, there will be a CMake lists here. Uh, these are all over the place. Now if we open this one, uh, there will be a couple of references to Steam. So I'm just going to control F Steam here. Now, since I like this will compile a non Steam version and a Steam version if Steam obviously was present. Since Steam is not present, at least for me, I'm not going to bother to get it around. It's really not necessary. Uh, I'm just going to remove everything that references Steam. So uh, if I just oh, I'll resize this up here, uh, you see all of these lines here have Steam uh, in them. So I'm just going to remove this entire chunk. And then at the bottom is another line for Steam. This is only for Macs though, so it might not really matter, but I'm getting rid of the Steam reference. So save this CMake file, you can close it. Uh, and then we'll try this command again, CMake dot and see what happens. Configuring done, generating done, and now build files have been written. So it actually did go through with the, the, uh, the make process right there. Now, if you were to try to make 
right now. If you just type make or wait through, it'll start compiling things, but it won't take very long. If I start it right now, it won't take very long until it hits an error and then stops because uh, like right here, there are a couple of different things that we need to fix along the way. Um, first off, this particular error is a little strange. It says permission denied right here, but it really doesn't have anything to do with permissions. What it really means is this error 126, which means the file is not found. It's a file not found error. That's what it's actually uh, complaining about here. Uh, and, and that is about this particular file, which uh, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, there is a file that says build ID, hpl2, and then Linux app. So it's a, it's a Linux specific file. Now, the interesting thing, I, which I think is another mistake uh, in the repository, is, uh, well, this step right here. So if I'm going up a couple of directories, and then I'll search for Win32. We will find a couple of files, uh, five files here that start with build ID. Uh, all of them end with uh, Win32. Now this uh, repository maybe was just uh, focused on Windows, but it does work to compile on Linux. But maybe they forgot to add the Linux specific files. But these particular files seem to be mostly identical to the ones that. Uh, should work for Linux. So what uh, the compiler expects is that there will be a Linux file here in each of these uh, directories. They're in different directories. That's why I like to search. It's at least to find. Um, so the problem here is that the Linux file doesn't exist, but the Windows 32 file does exist. And I don't really know what the difference will be within this file and the other one. So uh, you can really just rename the Win32 to Linux with a capital N, no, L, I mean, rename that to Linux. And that will make it stop complaining about the file not existing. Uh, if you open the source file, uh, it doesn't really contain very much. So it doesn't seem to really be that important. So I'm just going to replace these with uh, Linux right here. There we go. So those five uh, need to be renamed to Linux. Now, uh, Obviously, if I were to try to make and make and make, it's going to try to compile uh, things uh, very often. So uh, this entire project does take a while to compile. Uh, if I were to compile it, I would probably use more uh, cores uh, to make it go a little faster. But there are a couple more steps that it will complain about. If I um, try to make now with uh, 16 threads, it will uh, go through this. Now, I, technically, you don't need to do this right here, but it might help if you want to see what the actual errors are, uh, because we're going to have to recompile this anyway in a little bit. But uh, one of the first errors uh, that we will see now uh, will be uh, this particular here thing here, and uh, it's something about a, yeah, perhaps a change in the C++ standard or something. But it says that it wants you to use the f permissive uh, compile flag if you actually want to get around this error. So that's what we're going to do. So now I'm going to get out of the search. Back in here, we'll go back into Amnesia, source, uh, CMake list. You might already have this open. Um, actually, I guess it was the other one that you had open, but we're going to have to do this in all of these files. So in this uh, CMake list file, if you go to the bottom here, uh, we can type a new line, uh, set, and then parentheses. Inside the parentheses, in all caps, we want to type CMake underscore CXX underscore flags. And then space, quote, quote, double quotes that is. And inside the quotes, we want to type in the flag that we want to pass. Now, this flag is dash F permissive. So we're going to type that in. Now, if you save now and then you do a recompile, it will, it will get a bit further. Um, actually, it will complain about this same thing in some other places uh, because uh, this needs to be added to all of the CMake files. Um, so, uh, but another thing that it will eventually complain about is something related to Pi. I think it is something with the the precompiled dependencies, uh, maybe compiled in a little different way to the default compilation uh, flags that are set when you try to compile on all modern uh, Linux distros. So basically, we want to pass another f flag, and that is dash no dash pi as in n-o-p-i-e 
uh, with the dash in between. So, um, but that will basically disable whatever the hell that pi thing means. I'm not actually sure what that is, but it will disable it and that will allow the compiler to continue because it doesn't really support whatever the hell the dependencies uh, have been compiled with the settings. So these are the two flags that we need to add. So uh, that's good. Uh, now, obviously I've only added it to one of these files. Uh, it needs to be added to all of the CMake files, as I said, but if we try, actually, I'm, I'm not gonna try to compile it. It will just take a while and it will spit out some errors. So uh, now that I've added here, I'm gonna copy this entire line uh, like that, copy it, copy the text. Uh, we can close that one. Now I already had open, this is the uh, CMake uh, lists from the HPL2 core. There's a CMake list here as well, which is the one I have here. Uh, this is where we deleted the tests directory. So in this one, you want to paste in the same uh, flag uh, line that we added. So now we've added it to two of the CMake uh, files. So there are a couple uh, of CMake files that we want to fix this in. Uh, there is only one inside HPL2 core, but if we go into HPL2 tools, there is one right here. Just paste in that there and close. Uh, and then if we go to editors, there is another one here. I'm just gonna paste that in here as well and close. And then we can go back up a couple levels into Amnesia source. Uh, I believe there is uh, at least one more. Yeah, if you go into game and CMake lists, this is where we remove the Steam stuff. Uh, you wanna add uh, the line in there as well. And uh, I believe that is it. Actually, no, there's one more in the launcher. If you go into launcher, there will be a CMake list here as well. So we'll just add that in there. Save, close. So now, uh, obviously, if I try to uh, do CMake dot, it will regenerate the CMake configuration. It might not actually be necessary, you can just do make. Uh, so now I'm just gonna do make with J and 16 cores. Uh, the reason I type 16 there is because it goes basically 16 times as fast as if you were to do just make you can type just make and it will do the same thing but it will do it on one thread uh, so uh, i'm doing it on 16 threads because i have a ryzen 7 with 16 threads so it can do it a lot faster now um you might have seen some red stuff up there there are still some errors um that uh, that particular error without going back to look at it uh, it complains about a missing file, and this is actually a real problem because it's a missing file called simple camera. And there are two of the editors that depend on this file, the model viewer and the map viewer. Now those two editors, they will not compile without this file, and this file doesn't seem to be included in the repository. So uh, no one at the moment seems to be able to compile those, uh, as far as I'm aware. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm sure that will be fixed eventually. The file will be included and you can compile them. But for now, uh, if you actually want to compile uh, everything without errors, uh, you're gonna want to fix that, of course. So, um, can't really fix it, but we can um, skip out on those. So if you go to HPL2 tools, uh, CMake list here, uh, this one will have uh, two sections right here. It says map viewer and model viewer. Now we're just gonna get rid of those. We don't want to compile them. So I'm gonna save that and close. Uh, don't wanna compile those because they will just error out no matter what. Now there is uh, another issue here. Um, something that seems to be a little strange. If we go back up here to where we extracted dependencies, go inside dependencies into lib, into Linux, into lib64. Um, obviously this is on a 64-bit machine. I'm sure you can figure out <laughs> where you need to go if you're not for some reason on a 64-bit. Um, all of these uh, no version number uh, uh, files here um, are supposed to be symlinks to the versioned one, I believe, but the symlinks are broken. They don't really work. Um, so uh, we'll have to delete all of those default symlinks and we'll have to recreate those uh, symlinks uh, to point to their appropriate file. So for instance, um, the one of the first files that we'll complain about is uh, libvorbis file right here. It complains about libvorbis file not being found. Um, 
So what you have to do is just delete libvorbis file, and then you'll have to uh, go into terminal and type uh, ln dash s, uh, and then create a new uh, symbolic link to libvorbisfile.so.3.3.5 and name it libvorbisfile.so. Um, that will create a new and actually working symlink. But no, I'm not going to go through all that. That will take uh, a while to just type out and delete all of these files. Uh, now, there is actually this little genius guy on uh, on uh, on the uh, repository here. They have a couple of uh, guides here for the build fixes, uh, some notes here that people found very early on. Um, one of the guys here, a little further down here, uh, uh, this guy is... Uh, Robert guy over here props to him uh, Wrote this one-liner here for just renaming or recreating all of the sim links uh, in the entire directory in one go So it's very very easy. Just copy this. I'll, I'll put it in the description. Just copy this one and uh, We'll go into this folder here. I'll create a terminal right here and just paste this in and boom You'll see there'll be some change back there close it um, so now all of these should be functional. So now that along with the uh, previous fix that were with the model view and the map view, uh, if I now were to do make, uh, I'm just going to do J16 as well, um, it will compile all the remaining uh, files that didn't get compiled because of the errors. Now, the, there weren't that many files left to compile, uh, only these. So if I now type, for instance, make, once again, it's actually done at this point, but if you type make, and all it does is just build target, blah, 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 built OEL wrapper, uh, bin relock, hpl2, mesh converter, material editor, particle editor, model editor, level editor, amnesia, and launcher, then it's actually completed, and all of these things are finally compiled. So now they will actually be located, if we go up a couple of steps here, um, now, if we go into Amnesia source, uh, this is where they will end up right here. So we have amnesia.bin.x8664, that's the actual executable. So if I copy this one, this this is the compiled ex executable that we have now, um, well, obviously compiled uh, from the source code. Uh, if you made some changes to the source code, that should now be inside this uh, binary executable. And then you can take this one and copy it like I just did. And you want to go to where you actually have Amnesia installed because obviously the source code doesn't come with all the assets. That's what you need the game for. So I'm going to go to where I have uh, Amnesia installed. This is how it looks. Um, there will already be obviously these um, files here. If I just rename this... Um, the original file. This is the original launcher that came with the download. Something else. Uh, then I can paste in the uh, new compiled one. So now, if I just launch it, it started on my other monitor. Um, yeah, it runs. So if you actually made some changes to Amnesia, that should now be reflected in the game. So um, I guess that's uh, what there is to do to get this compiled on Linux, and it's. As quick as I can make it, I guess, but uh, it's not the quickest. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you are <laughs> one of the few, perhaps, that are on Linux, uh, then uh, I hope this little quick guide helped you. And uh, it's very uh, ad hoc made, so uh, please excuse me. But that'll be it for now. Um, I'll perhaps see you guys later. Um, Maybe we'll do some stuff with this. Maybe we'll do some stuff with Anisha Rebirth that will release on October 20th, uh, in case you haven't been following on that. Um, yeah. <sighs>